Um, so, hey guys, I, I, uh, I want to get everybody together. Uh, have you guys all met at once? All of you together? Not the entire crew. No. Okay. Once a week from now on. I want the whole crew meeting once a week on this stuff. It's done. I want to hear myself from every one of you guys that are working on this, what you're working on, and how things are going. But mostly just to hear what the hell everybody's working on so that you know where we're headed. Good. My name is Alex Hoffman. I work on PlantSide 2 as an associate programmer. And for the optimizations, I'm working on the bot client tool. This is what I'm doing. Bot client. Day one, these bots are bull****. <laughs> Day two through 12, these bots are still bull****. The bot is a representation of, the, of a player for your client. So it's a ho empty, hollow player that it sends a bunch of updates to the server which sends down to the client that you're running so you can profile. There's a, there's a lot of purposes, but for, for this is so we can make a, a good performance check. All right, walk around the office a bit. Say, say hi to the camera. Hi to the camera. Oh, you Well, <laughs> good news and bad news. The good news is I submitted the first version of the bot client that can take in the XML instructions. The bad news is the the movement just completely screwed itself. So I'm taking apart the movement code line by line and figure out what happened. So right now our bots are very dumb. So they only, they run about in random directions. They can't really spawn vehicles. They can only shoot their main weapons and switch weapons. You guys want to talk about bot business? All right, so we want to capture some data of what the bots, of what players do on the world. So we can say, here's what the battle would look like. We can write that out to instructions, and then we can turn those instructions into something that a bot can use, and we can have basically a modest replay tool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a large fight, so maybe a biolab alert or a crown fight, and we're going to take all the data that we have from that fight and turn it into something more readable. And then it'll take those instructions and what a player did, if a player shot here and then threw a grenade there, it'll turn that into, so that the bot will do exactly that, or close enough that we can say, this is an accurate representation of, of a fight. Here are some new bots. I'm using just some people that were running around VR zone. So right now they're interpolating through the ground because they don't know any better. Now he's gonna spawn onto a flash. But this is a representation of what one person did in the VR zone. They really did spawn a flash and then run around. All right, so I'm working on making the bots fire when they're in vehicles, which is currently a problem. They don't shoot when they're in mag riders. Now I've got to go to my meeting. Oh, are you Mr. Cameron? I thought you meant him, Shank. Oh, are you bringing out the cameras camera to each other? And how is the movement going right now? Can you point that at yourself now? Would <laughs> <laughs> you like me to do that for you? This is, this is kind of awkward, but keep your pants on. Well, the, the movement looks pretty good <clears throat> right now. Uh, there is some weird stuff with the interpolation, like sometimes he'll overshoot it. That doesn't happen too often. Right now, uh, we gave up on grenades for the moment, and now vehicle weapon. I'm trying to get vehicle weapons working too. Okay, what's wrong with them? They require a projectile manager, which the bots don't have. So they do the grenade throwing motion, but nothing pops out of their hands. When we get the bot client to a point that I can run a really big fight, or it runs all the instructions like it's supposed to, they throw grenades and shoot like players do on live, every coder will be able to use this and say, Thank you, this is a great tool for benchmarking and we'll be able to make our optimizations even better. Are you not working again? I work late again, every day, Adam. Hey. I don't think I've left before seven at all this week. Sony.